Alert is the only comprehensive information source for both ICOs and pre-ICOs. And if you don't know what an ICO is, it's an initial coin offering, basically a new way for startups and small businesses to raise capital, to build a new product, expand their business, whatever the case may be. So at ICO Alert, we try not to provide ratings at all. Um, we're very big on presenting every ICO to our potential investors and basically saying, hey, look, here's the info. We'll keep you up to date with when they launch, if they require KYC, if it restricts US investors. Um, but at the end of the day, we're going to let you make your own objective decision. So we don't want to be telling you, hey, this is a five out of five stars and then something happens. We think that you're better equipped to make the decision on your own. I mean, we've been rapidly expanding our team. The, the ICO Alert team based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania is now 13 people, many of which whose full-time job is really to just keep that data up to date. So in 2016, there were actually less than 100 ICOs. But last year in 2017, we saw more than 1,848 ICOs, so almost 2,000. But then in the first two and a half months of 2018, we've already seen 1,000 different ICOs. Um, and we expect by the end of 2018, there to be well over 5,000, if not more. I've seen it all happen before. In 2013 with Mt. Gox, when we went from 1,200 all the way back down to, I think we almost hit double digits again. Um, it's just the nature of the industry right now. It's the nature of any new industry that you're gonna have very high highs, you're gonna have very low lows. It's really about, I think, picking out the projects that are doing real innovation and really building projects that matter. Um, so if you can see through the hype, I think it'll be a lot easier to, for you to figure out which projects are gonna, gonna do the most in 2018. I think we're gonna see a lot more uh, platforms in 2018 that really allow the mainstream user to use a blockchain app, maybe without even knowing that they're using a blockchain. So right now, if you think about a blockchain app, it requires a transaction fee on most platforms, and that one piece alone makes that entire app prohibitive for the average user. So my grandmother can't use CryptoKitties because she has to pay that transaction fee to, to breed her cat. Um, but I think we're going to see a lot of uh, platforms that are easier to use in 2018 that then also allow for more mainstream adoption. And if I had to make a price prediction, I would say at some point during 2018, we'll hit at least a trillion dollar market cap within cryptocurrency.